Um, my question for you is when you're, whether in coaching or anything, anything else, do you prioritize or do you like look for talented folks or hardworking folks? Like, I know that's also like a, a dichotomy that's, that's talked about a lot. Like what is either easier to coach or what is more preferable, uh, quality in someone, whether they've got the talent or they've got hard work, maybe a bit of both. Yeah. Um, so, a a, a, a really good question. Y'all got some good ass. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I would say that a really good coach and a great coach isn't looking for it to be easy, right? We're not looking for what athlete is easier to coach. We're looking for which athlete is the most successful to coach. Like who can, who will, act, if I say tie your shoe, Who's going to actually, whether they're an alpha top dog, top athlete, or whether they're just a hardworking grinder, who's going to actually tie their shoe? You don't have to tie your shoe. Uh, you, you know, I'm the coach. You know, I, I told you to tie your shoe. You make $100 million. You don't have to tie your damn shoe. So I think for, for me, the attribute that is probably most coachable is somebody who uh, can submit. That is the most coachable athlete in a leader, an executive, an alpha athlete, if 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 they cannot submit to something, um, it it is going to be hard to coach them, and that usually starts with the the ego and, and our ability to get through it. Everything else, like would I rather have a hard worker? I'd rather have Michael Jordan every time. Like I'd rather have the best possible athlete every single time. But even Mike had to submit even Serena had to get coaching right everybody um who has been great or who has helped the team win has to has to submit um and not do something they want to do 